Hi guys. Hello there. Jerry and Linda here, and uh, we're up at Sunny's Barbecue in Sumter Landing. We're going to do something different and uh, fun today. We have a couple of our YouTube viewers with us, and we're going to interview them and let them uh, tell us about their experience. They're on the lifestyle visit, and uh, so we're going to hear about that and then give them an opportunity to ask some questions. This is Mark and Samantha Duncan. They're from uh, Oregon, and they're here in the middle of a lifestyle visit. How are you guys doing? Great. Doing well. Doing well. So where are you staying during the lifestyle? We're staying over near the Brownwood uh, station, the Brownwood area, in a uh, uh, courtyard villa, and uh, we have Loving the golf. It. Yeah, it's fun. Have a golf cart. And when we came, we stayed in Alden bungalows. Is that where you are by any chance? We're right next door to that. Okay. Right next door to okay. that. Okay. Very good. So you're in the southern part of the villages. Have you yes. been looking at uh, new homes? Yeah, we've been looking at new homes uh, down in the uh, Fenny area, and then uh, pre-existing homes, you know, pretty much anywhere. Uh, we liked actually some of the old areas too. We liked that, uh, you know, because the trees, more mature uh, vegetation, that kind of thing. So that's nice. But yeah, having a good time doing that. Now, Samantha, is this your first visit? Yes, it is my first visit. Okay, good. So. I was hoping so. What stands out to you on your first visit? What do you think of the villages? It's like Disneyland. I just, I really love everything about it. It's quite fun. And I love the weather. So it's September 26th, and yes. you've been here for how long? Three, three days. days. Yeah, three days, and we're here for another uh, four more days. Four more glorious yeah, days. Yeah, four more days, and then we have some other things, then fly back home all the way all the way back to Oregon. Have you been able to use any of the amenities, uh, the pools or the classes? Uh, we yet? haven't done the pools yet. We've done some trolley tours, and those are great. A lot of a lot of good information. So we've done all three sections on those. Mm -hmm. uh, we've been in a couple of the, um, we've gone the, to the rec centers. Rec centers and the squares for the music at yep. night. Enjoyed yep. that. Yeah, that's yeah. been fun. Have you been to all three town squares? Yes. yes. Yep. Today is our third one, yes. Yep. Do you have a favorite? I like. Brownsville. Brownwood. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Brownwood. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's my favorite. Yeah. Brownwood has the bleachers, which are always right. nice, especially if it's uh, too sunny or right. or if it's raining or yeah. whatever. Right. A little more shade when the music yeah. and stuff like that's going. But on. yeah, 365 days a year they have entertainment. Yeah. That's, yes. that's great. Yeah. Weather we, permitting. Yeah, we've been out there for two nights and, and uh, watching the people line dance. I gotta I gotta do a little bit more to <laughs> encourage them to dance <laughs> now, in front of people anyway. <laughs> do you uh, do you have plans to see a show? Yeah, we were talking about the this Downton weekend, Abbey. Well, yeah, yeah. movie. Oh, yeah, oh, you going to the movies? Yeah, yeah. and then, uh, and this, then possibly this, a show. Yeah, this weekend, uh, Abba. Yeah. Sometimes the realtors, when you have the lifestyle stay, will give you a pass to, right. and you got something. Yes. To yes. Go. Yeah. Oh yeah. Well, sure. Those are those are fun, and we did yeah. the same okay. same thing. Okay. And I think those are up at the uh, Spanish Springs. Uh, called the. Savannah. Savannah. That's exactly Savannah. yeah. Savannah Center is almost that far. Yeah. Not quite, but. Uh, we yeah, passed by there twice today already. Yeah. 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 Okay. We haven't been in the Morris yet. A Sharon. A Sharon, the Sharon yeah. Yes. So in your your villa where you're staying, yes. you have, let's, if I remember, you have bicycles. You have bicycles, mm -hmm. uh, golf cart, uh, washer and dryer, yeah. and stuff. So we've had we've been traveling before we got down here, so we had to catch up on laundry. Yeah. And uh, nice, nice air conditioning, nice, you know, full. Lanai. Yeah, nice lanai, uh, Florida room, and then the... Uh, uh, bathroom is great those new showers with the walk-in showers those are cool when we stayed here um, we got a newspaper every day yep yes. you could, and on Thursday is the big newspaper where right. you can pick yeah, and we choose. got that this morning yeah it's like a Sunday uh, paper from back all home. the amenities that back you when like. you used to get a paper yeah yeah <laughs> with all the activities yeah. yeah and have you been lost yet yes, yes. yeah <laughs> <laughs> yep Oh yeah, a couple times. And the GPS we set, we actually have the one that you had suggested the for the past that yeah. that has the golf court routes and all right, that. Right, right. Yes. And have you taken that golf cart into any restricted areas yet by mistake? No, I mean I'm out looking for. <laughs> That's me. I was on the big road. <laughs> uh oh. Well, I've been out, you know, going by the lakes trying to look for gators and stuff with it, you know, but I haven't found any yet. Well, right there by Brownwood was the home of Larry. Larry, okay. Big gator. Yeah. Right there where the you, the new buildings are going up. That's right out our, yeah. I bet you that's right out our back, yes. back door. Right yeah, there. but Larry's not there anymore. No. Uh, no. We've been, been there. looking every morning for something out there. Yeah. <laughs> well, there are plenty on the golf courses. If you okay. ride, you can look. Uh, but you said you think of it like Disney. I do. <laughs> we we described it exactly the same way. The landscaping is so nice. 
flowers are so nice. This is actually the worst time of year for the grass. It's been hot this summer, right? And uh, it's it still looks good, but it's really going to look good after things calm down a little yeah. bit. Well, it's, and I tell people uh, back home, they're going, "What do you do? you know?" Because going from Oregon, I mean, it's thirty five hundred miles. I mean, it's a quite a jump. But the uh, I tell them it's kind of I look at it as a big giant cruise ship on land. So every every five minutes there's something going on somewhere, and the same. If anybody's ever been on a cruise, it's the same thing. You get your list of things going all day long, so there's no shortage of, of things Fun to do. Yeah. Activities. And yeah. you guys have a dog, and yep. it's, it's a greyhound. Yeah, so you're looking, racing greyhound. Yeah. So you're looking, looking for something with a little more room, maybe the home eventually. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So we're gonna probably rent, and then we're gonna buy, and we want something with maybe a fence. Uh, the courtyard courtyard villas would kind of like we're rent, you know, staying in. We'll have that. And then the dog parks, you know, get him on the dog park so he can get to run in again. And make friends. Yeah, make friends and stuff. He's very, very social. So. <laughs> Have you seen the postal stations and the, yes. the, the mailbox areas? Yep. Yes. Yep. Is that something you think you can get used to, no problem? Oh, yeah, I think it'd be great. And then yeah. we, I already got my stickers picked out, you know, for him. It's, you know, put my Raider stickers on there. All right. <laughs> now, uh, there, there is an ongoing debate. If you if you read Next Door or, or uh, Talk of the Villages, the, some people want those banned. I, I have a Fighting Irish sticker oh, on there you go. my mailbox. But, uh, yeah, I think it's just a way to make it a little more individual. Yeah, and, you know, that way quicker, easy to find out because right. you can get, uh, there's a lot of them there. So. Now, you live near the coast in Oregon. Yes. Correct. So once in a while you're bothered by, uh, I think they call them typhoons over there? Or tsunamis. Tsunamis, tsunamis. Yeah. yeah. But here we're in the middle of the state. Do you feel good about that? Yeah, I don't have a problem because I, when I was here a couple few months back, and I spent just half a day with a with a realtor. Uh, basically, from what I understand, it just turns into a big giant storm. Nothing, nothing. I mean, it's stuff to prepare for, but it's not anything really gory. We we get those on the Oregon coast too. You know, uh, 50, as our, 60 mile an hour wind type stuff. As the viewers know, we've only been here. We're working on our tenth month right now, and we haven't had any super storms. I mean, we had almost had one with Dorian, right. Right. but it turned away. So we haven't experienced that either. Either, but. Uh, uh, the homes here are well built. Uh, right. I think you know that. Yeah. And, uh, and we in a real <clears throat> we did a little bit of a tour with the realtor this morning. They're 140 mile an hour. You know, it's code and everything. So and and then to you be can prepare. Yeah, be prepared. I mean, the only thing I'm thinking is maybe some power outages and stuff like that is the worst case scenario, from what I've heard. But I could uh, be wrong. You never know. The, our neighbors have been there almost four years. Mm -hmm. We we bought uh, our, our house was three years old. Some of our best friends have been there for four years. Have never had a power outage in the villages. Right. So yeah, there you go. That's it better than happen. But there are underground utilities, but somewhere it's above ground. But evidently, yeah, yeah. In, that, in Oregon, we use power, we use power all the time, all the time, especially on the coast. You know, so well, we guys, get the ice storms and that kind of thing too. It's great learning all that. But let, is there anything you'd like to ask that we might share with you and uh, our viewers about the villages that you want to uh, to ask us at this time? Uh, do your homework, uh, like what we're here, we're here and getting a lot of things taken care of, finding out, you know, best for like internet hookups and power and all that kind of stuff. And uh, the medical situation, you know, learning where all the clinics are and all that. So trying to pick things out, pharmacies and things. So keep watching your videos yeah. because we Watch. learn a lot from yeah, that. Yeah, the there so you go. So we highly you recommend go. that. Yeah. Yeah. And if you come down for a lifestyle tour, we recommend reaching out. Yeah. And, yeah. <laughs> well, we appreciate all of our viewers and I, I try to answer every email. Some days I'll get 10, some days I might get 15. Uh, we try, and we try to answer and comment on all the things online, but we sure do appreciate everybody. Uh, at our last count, we had about over 4,100 subscribers. That's a lot. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And it's you know it's climbing daily, so we appreciate every one of you guys. Catching up with Britney Spears. <laughs> yes! <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, guys, thanks a lot for being with us. We appreciate yeah, thank that. Thank you. Right. Thank you. So we thought you'd like to uh, hear from a fresh face. Uh, you're probably getting tired of our faces by now, but the, it was fun to meet uh, Mark and Samantha and we wish them luck in their home search. And so from us, until next time, we'll see you when you get here. <laughs>